Hi friends, welcome back to Mimi's Mixed Bag. Today I am just going to ramble on for less than a minute just to preface this project because it does involve many other YouTubers. Um, I am in, involved with a Facebook group called Creative Arts Collaboration. And what that is, is a big group of people that love to showcase their arts and crafts, because that is a big difference, on YouTube. And last month, you may be familiar with the hashtag Love Summer Art event, where all these artists and crafters uh, did something summer related. Well, this month, with it being August, they have created a new event called hashtag Paugust, and it is a animal-themed project. And now, they've done it a little different now for those uh, people who like to watch our, you know, these projects, they have split us up into identifiers or categories. I am into the crafting category. So if you are into mixed media, you would type in hashtag Paugist, hashtag mixed media. Now down in the description box, I will have the 11 identifiers is what they're called or 11 categories. So you'll know what that second hashtag is so that you can kind of create your search list of projects that you would rather see instead of, you know, th there's going to be painters, there's play artists, can't remember all 11, but they will be listed below. What I'm going to do for my craft for Paugist is I know Halloween's not very far off and I wanted to create this little black cat family made out of just some cardboard and I found some supplies at the Dollar Tree and I am going to play around with that and create a little Halloween decoration for the house. I want to show you what what initially inspired me to do this project. Um, I've had animals on my mind the last few weeks knowing this project was coming up. I was at the Dollar Tree and came across these little fuzzy uh, tote bags. I guess they're like little girl tote bags. I've been looked at them and looked at the handle and I thought wow that looks like a cat tail of some sort and I thought you know I could make some kind of little cat craft and so I decided to pick up two of them and then I decided to come home and play around with some just this is just some cardboard from a box I had the dimensions on there just so you would know in perspective of what size I'm working with the, um, so I want to make a small medium and large little cat family so this was a 10 by 4 a 9 by 4 and a 7 by 3 so in case you want to make the same size I did the rest of the stuff was pretty much in my stash. Um, this was just some white floral craft wire from Walmart, and I cut a four inch pieces, some three inch pieces, and some two inch pieces, and just twisted them. And then just kind of took my fingernail and smoothed them out to make them look like cat whiskers. Um, also in my stash, I've got lots of Google Eyes. Um, I had some small, medium, and large Google Eyes. Um, I had a bag of this different kinds of fun foam, and I just kind of picked out three small, medium, and large little pieces that I could use for the nose. Um, I took some cardstock and just free-handed some small, medium, and large little paws. So I need a set for each little cat, and I just literally just took the scissors and free-handed it. Uh, this is another thing I bought at the Dollar Tree, and I don't, I uh, wasn't sure if I was going to use those, but I think I will. It's, they're actually little girl hair bows of some sort, little spectator hats or whatever they're called, but they're little witch hats, and I thought, oh, that'd be kind of cute to put on the top of the, of the cats, so I'm going to use those. The last thing in my stash was just uh, some Halloween ribbon. There's some pumpkins, here's some spider webs, and this is just some orange. My plan is, though, that each cat has a little different personality, it has just a little different look. I wanted to give you just a little close-up of my cardboard pieces again. You know, I told you the dimensions I used. The t but after I cut my little strips, I folded them in half and then cut two little notches on each side, about halfway between the top and the bottom. And what that will do is give me a little indention to serve as the, the cat's neck. Okay, the first thing I did was I took a pair of scissors, cut up the little bag, I cut the handles off, and then I cut down the sides of the bag, and then I also tore out the little lining that was in it. And so now that gave me some flat fabric to work with. And now I'm going to take my cardboard piece and I'm gonna cut enough fabric to where I can just hot glue it and cover the piece of cardboard completely. Okay, I have all three of my little cardboard cat bodies covered in the soft, furry fabric. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a little hot glue just right in the crease so when they stand up, they will kind of be kind of a triangle look a little bit just so that they're able to stand up without doing like that. 
Okay, I moved my project onto a white piece of paper so you could see it a little better. So I took uh, two of the handles and I cut a small, medium, and large little tail. These, I'm just going to hot glue it to one side of the cat body. Okay, the next step is I took the black cardstock and just freehanded three sets of paws, small, medium, and large, and I'm going to hot glue it underneath the front of the bodies. I still have those notches in the half of, of each body, and so the top half is going to be the head area, so that's where I need to put the eyes and the nose and the whiskers. And they're all taking on their own little personality. Now it is time to give each cat a collar using my three kinds of ribbon. Have their collars on. By making the little notches in the body, it gave the head and the body a little more definition. They're ready for their hats. All right, say hello to my little Halloween cat family. I think they turned out super cute. I could actually take a little marker, a white gel pen or something, and put a little more definition in the little paws. I might do that. But I think it turned out super cute for me to have $3 invested in it and then a little craft stash. I'm going to stand up and show you the back of them. The little handles on the totes made the perfect cattails. So I hope you enjoyed this. This was just so much fun to do. So I'm going to put these up for a few weeks and I will be ready for Halloween. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.